Oh my god, I look like a hot mess. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video vlog is another reading vlog. And <clears throat> please excuse this mess. I just woke up and I have a lot of work to do today. We got to actually go fix my neighbor's roof. My boyfriend and I are doing that right now. So well, I don't know what this is doing. Anyways, so this reading vlog it's also like 30 degrees, so I'm cold, <laughs> and I'm like really cold. So the book that I'm reading this vlog is The Shining by Stephen King, and I'm scared. I'm really scared. I love scary movies. I've never read like a scary book, so I don't know how that's going to be, but I love scary movies. And um, this book has like 700, 700 and what? 659 pages. So I'm pretty sure this is the biggest book I will ever read. Um, so I'm really interested in seeing how long it will take me to read this. I'm going to give myself a week. I, it might be longer. We will see. I just started reading like the first three chapters. I'm literally on page 10. I'm still on chapter one, which is the job interview. I think there's like different parts. No, I'm on chapter four. I'm on chapter four called Shadowland. And I, I'm really interested in seeing how this will play out. Um, right now, he's just building the characters and it's all right. I haven't found a bookstore in my town yet. So I had to order on Amazon and I'm really mad because these books were like $16 so I need to go hunting for a bookstore in my town. It's really flimsy though and the pages feel like that one notebook paper that like made my fingers feel so gross. It's like it's I don't know how to explain it like you know those notebooks where the um pages were like such a soft material that like your fingers got like numb or whatever. Ugh, it's so cringy. Um yeah, let me know if you understand what I'm saying, but that's what is going on. I need to read up to, I need to read up to a page 100 today, or actually I'm going to try to read 200 pages today since I started this the other day in the car. So I, it was kind of difficult for me to like actually sit down and read because we have been going nonstop because my car broke down and all that. So we had to go pick that up. Anyways, yeah, let's just get on to the vlog. I will update you guys when I find something interesting. So I'm on page 50. I have my retainers in. <laughs> and honestly, I'm so confused. I feel like I don't understand this book. Like I don't understand the plot already. Um, so they, he got the job at the hotel and the last half of chapter four was basically all about Danny, which is, which is their son and who was just like talking about his experiences with going to school and had to leave school because his parents couldn't afford it and oh my god the highway is so loud what is going on so i basically think that like danny had like a like he's like psychic like he can see the future i guess and he just saw himself at the hotel seeing the word the word red rum everywhere so i'm honestly i'm confused i'm i'm confused i think i need to read until i get a sense of what's going on because i'm just really confused <laughs> There's like so many words on these pages and the pages are just so long and it's 700 pages like what? Y'all look how many words is on the page. There's literally so these pages are so long I just don't understand it. I think it's because he describes so much that I don't understand that I don't understand it so yeah i'm gonna keep reading hi guys check in i'm on page 198 basically 200 and oh my god there's a huge huge wasp i don't know how he got in here but anyways so what i just read yesterday i literally read so much in the car so they finally went to the hotel they checked in and danny the little son he was talking to the chef right before the chef was leaving for the winter he 
goes to Florida. The chef asked Danny to walk him out to his car because he's going to go to the airport to go to Florida for the winter. And he was telling them how he has like these superpowers that he can read people and that he knows that Danny can also read people. Basically, he Danny can read people's minds and that's what I was so confused about in the beginning. I didn't understand what was going on. So basically, he's like psychic or well, not psychic. Well, yeah, I guess he's kind of psychic because he can in his dreams um he foresees the future and then he can hear what people are thinking if they're thinking it really loud so basically the chef was telling him how he does the same thing he can hear people's minds and what they're thinking he was saying that like whatever you see in this hotel it is not real the future changes whatever you dream about or what you see doesn't always happen so like so don't believe everything you see and I think that is starting to help Danny because he's getting really scared. He keeps having dreams of being murdered by his dad and hearing his dad scream and he keeps seeing the word red rum still. He keeps seeing that everywhere. Um, so that's where I'm at. So they basically the caretake the caretaker I forgot his name wasn't important he was really annoying he just left so they're all there on their own they had their like first day there Danny got stung in his sleep which was really weird and they're blaming Jack the dad because he was fixing like the shingles or the siding or something and there's a wasp nest and he was like spraying them and he followed the directions on how to like spray the wasp but apparently they got inside and they were um attacking Danny so hi guys editing me um so you know how I just said there's a wasp in the window and I just killed it tell me why this happened as I was reading the part about Danny sleeping and having a nightmare of wasps attacking him and then he gets stung. What? So now they're like freaking out. The mother is freaking out. Winnie, no, no. Winnie, is that her name? Wendy? Winnie? I still don't know the characters. I'm like still so confused. The mother is not she's freaking out because Danny is not gaining any weight he's getting really skinny so there's that going on and Danny is just so scared of his dad because his dad broke his arm like a while ago because his dad was drunk and just hurt him so he's like super afraid of his dad and yeah that's where I'm at I'm still confused honestly there are so many words on these pages like there's so much extra detail that I skip over because it doesn't go with the plot are you guys do did you guys do that too because like because he keeps having like flashbacks about like other stuff like other people and parties and like going to work and stuff that doesn't really pertain or doesn't go with what's happening right now so I've been skipping over it um so yeah I I don't mm, I'm not gonna give an opinion yet but that's where I'm at I'm on chapter 17 and I'm gonna try to read 100 pages but one of my favorite youtubers is going live right now so I'm probably gonna have to wait so I'm on page 198 and I need to read to page 300 or whatever chapter is after it. So 298. So I literally need to read like 100 pages to 23. So that is my goal. I will update you guys in a little bit.
Okay, so basically now the hotel is getting to Jack. So Jack is going to the bar in the hotel. The ghost or whatever somehow put alcohol there and he drank a lot. And now he's turning into a monster. He drank so much he got drunk. Wendy found him at the bar and he attacked her. And then Danny came running to save her but Jack threw him off him. So now they're like trying to get away from Jack because the hotel ghosts or whatever are made him crazy and now he's trying to kill them. So that's where I'm at, page 551. Hey guys, so it is October 5th. And I took way too long to read this book way too long and I'm just gonna give you my thoughts because I did not like this book at all I did not like it 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 the main reason why I did not like this book is because he just added so much detail in the book I could not stay focused I could not stay focused like it makes me wonder if like how if his writing teachers loved him or not because I feel like he would be that person that turns in a 15 page paper but goes overboard and turns in 30 pages instead of 15 and I would hate myself <laughs> having to grade that I did not like it some parts were spooky like with the dead lady and with the animal hedges like chasing them that was pretty spooky but some the rest of it i just it was eh. um i didn't th i thought it would be more spooky but it wasn't for me it was just way too much details that i skipped over so much he did good explaining characters and giving them their background so we understood who they are but it was too much like there comes a point when you need to stop you just need to stop and continue the book of what's going on in the moment because like I just, I just had to skip over so much extra detail that did not that was not important to me like I wanted to read this book real quick I wanted to be invested but like with all the details he did explaining Jack and his past experiences and his friends from the past and no just no i i could not stay focused so i'm going to give this a two star that's right i'm gonna give it a two star i would give it a one star because it took me so long to finish it it was like i had to like motivate myself to finish it but i'm gonna be nice and give it a two star would i recommend this book to someone uh, not really i just if you want a long book that has so much detail and that's kind of like crazy, go ahead. But like, I would not recommend this. I just, I would not. So, now that I'm done with that book, I'm going to take four days off <laughs> and focus on other videos that I need to get out for this channel. Um, let me know what you guys would like me to read next. Should I read Breaking Dawn? Should I read The Long Walk? Or should I read Misery? These are my three options right now. Let me know what you would like to see next. I'm leaning towards Breaking Dawn just because I think it's about time to finish the series because I really want to read Midnight Sun. But it's October and I should be reading more spooky books. So let me know what kind of book what book you would let you want me to read next for the next reading vlog. Anyways, that is going to be it for this reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a hot mess. It was really hard for me to stay focused. I did not like reading that book. So now I'm gonna go watch the movie. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!